Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. It's been a while. Normally I would play some music <laughs> or whatever. Um, but anyways, it is 347 Pacific time. And I just wanted to come on here to, um, I just couldn't sleep, shit. Well, anyways, um, a really good uh, friend of mine, I heard, passed away earlier this evening. Well, actually, we're technically the next day, but uh, what day is today? Let me see, hold on. Okay, she passed away uh, yesterday, technically yesterday, January 4th. Um, I'm not sure how. I'm thinking it has something to do <clears throat> that's heart disease related. But um, she was my auntie's homegirl, and then she became my friend. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I just barely found it. Cause my aunt actually called me and told me because that was her friend. Um, so I want to do a little story time. And stuff like that. I just lit a white candle for her. Um, I knew that she was starting to get sick because I saw her, her social media, you know, last year and stuff or whatever. And I was noticing, I'm like, damn, you know, sometimes you can look at people's picture and you can kind of, kind of see their, I don't know. I could kind of like read people energy off of their picture and stuff. So I remember kind of like scrolling on social media and I was looking at her and I was like, oh God. I was thinking to myself, like, oh, my God, she must be getting sick again or, you know. And I was kind of, like, trying to avoid seeing her picture because I could already kind of, like, see, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, you know, she transitioned, and I'm really going to miss her a lot. And uh, I'm I'm actually happy for her, to be honest. Like, I'm, you know, I was crying earlier, but I'm actually very happy for her. Like, she don't have to suffer no more. And, um, you know, she lost two of her parents. She lost her parents in one year during the whole, um, pl- um, you know, Coca-Rona uh, pandemic and shit. Like she lost both of her parents in one year and I believe her brother. So she was going through a lot. And I feel like that took a toll on her health. I think that took a major toll on her health and she took it bad. You know, I couldn't imagine losing both of my parents in one year. Like that's heartbreaking. And I believe a brother tuna. I believe she lost her parents to, to, to COVID, I believe. So she, you know, sis was going through it and I'm, I'm happy that she is reunited with her parents. I'm happy that she's no longer uh, suffering. Um, And she was a beautiful person. So let me get into it with Miss Nelsie, girl. Let me tell y'all. Okay. The first time I met her was uh, through my aunt. And uh, my aunt have a lot of friends. Like, this is my aunt, my dad. That's my dad, baby sister. She got a lot of friends, a lot of associates. You know, she is sad. You know what I'm saying? Nelsie was a Gemini. And I love, love, love my high vibrational Geminis. I love them. Um, so anyhow, so the first time I had met her, when I realized that she was cool, like I always like when people are really kind to me, like people are when people do like kind acts or they like they, you know, what I'm saying when people are genuine, they do something genuinely nice uh, for me or to me or whatever. Like I never forget it. Never, ever, ever forget it. You know, when especially when somebody's character is tested in the situation and I see how they, like, they rise to the occasion, like, it, it, it leaves an impression on me, you know? So I met her through my my um, my um auntie because that was my auntie's friend. They knew each other for a long, long, long time. That's the same one that called me crying, saying that she died this, this uh, past evening, yesterday evening. <clears throat> so I remember me, and at the time, I used to go out. This was, like... What did I meet her? I met her like the late 2000s because I came out back to California in 2005. So I think I met Nelsie like I met her around 2007-ish, 8-ish. She's been around for a while. And I remember like around 2007-ish, 2006-ish or whatever. No, 2007. Me, her, and my auntie went out and... 
I forgot. It was somewhere like in Hollywood or downtown LA somewhere. And girl, they were shooting. It, I forgot what spot it was, but it was a nice venue. It was really cool. It was, it was cool, whatever. Somebody birthday party. And we was having a good time. And then all of a sudden, it was like gunshots. And people started running. At the time, I didn't see my aunt because I think I had went to go use the bathroom. So I had walked away from her. And she was already, like I said, she knew a lot of people. So she was already talking or whatever, whatever. So, um, ooh, I'm kind of cold in this room. Let me cover myself up. I'm laying down, y'all. But anyway, so she, um, so like I, I come out the bathroom and I'm, it's a big club and I'm trying to make my way back over to wherever my aunt and Nelsie was at. The next thing I hear like pop, 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 pop. Somebody bust, bust a couple shots. And I see like a stampede, everybody like running towards the door. <laughs> everybody running towards the door and shit. And I'm like panicking because I've never been caught up in a situation like that at the time. Like I'm young. Oh, I'm cold in here. <laughs> and whatever. And so, you know what she did? Like, because I couldn't get to my auntie in time and the shooting happened inside the club. It was really loud. And I remember, I didn't know, I didn't remember the exit. So I was somehow, I wanted, I, I just ran along with the crowd. You know how black folks is. We, we see black people running, we gonna run like shit. We're getting, you know, we, we, gonna, we gonna run first and we gonna ask questions later. Okay. But anyway, when I saw Nelsie, cause I'm trying to make my way, like I'm following the crowd, trying to get to the door or whatever. Nelsie grabbed my hand. She said, I got you, girl. She said, I got you. I got you. And she grabs my wrist. And it's like, you know, like everybody's rushing out the club. It's a stampede. You can get yourself hurt, stomped on. You know, if you fall, ain't nobody finna help me. You feel me? And I remember Nelsie. And she grabbed my hand. She grabbed my hand. She said, I got you, girl. I got you, girl. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And we finally got out. So then, ever since then, I liked her. I said, okay, she cool. She a real bitch. She, Cause she didn't really know me. Like my, um, my aunt introduced me to her. Like, this is my niece. Da, 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 da. That's all she needed to hear. She made sure I got out that club. So ever since then, I said, I like your friend. Who that friend? I used to ask my aunt about her. I said, who that? So oh, that's my friend. Else. I said, I like her. And you know, I don't like people, but I like her, you know? So anyhow, um, I guess they knew each other for a long time. I don't know how long they knew each other, but her and Nelsie have been friends for a very, very long time. So she was very, very hurt today. I feel really bad for my, my Tia. She was really, really hurt. Um, and so then when me and Nelsie started to hang out, just me and her, uh, let me see, like around 2018, like, when I had got my car, I had her on my social media. And when I had got my car, sis ain't waste no time. She was like, girl, let's go out to here. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. Because, um, and that was two, that was uh, spring of 2018. That's when me and her start going to places and stuff. Cause I, you know, she the one that got me out of my shell. She the one that got me. Oh, excuse me. She's the one that got me out of my shell. Cause I was staying at home. And when I used to go out to, you know, the after hours and stuff, I, I always went out with my cousins on my dad's side and then my sister would come along too. And, you know, that was how I was going out. But when I, okay, around 2017, around 2017, I, I wasn't talking to my aunt, the same one. I wasn't talking to my aunt at the time because <laughs> I had gotten into it with her, with her daughter and stuff, um, and I'm telling you, this shit happened every couple of years. And I've been out here 15 years. Every couple of years, the same bullshit with the same people over and over and over. Anyways, anyways, child. So, um, so at the time, like around, I'm going to say February 2017 was uh, the last time I was around my aunt, which is her friend. Right. So 
when I almost got in a fight, a fight with her, her daughter, it was around the time of my daughter's birthday, like late February, 2017. My daughter turned like six. Yeah, she turned about, yeah, she turned six. So after that, after that situation, I, uh, you know, we almost got in a fight. It was a whole bunch of bullshit, whatever, whatever. So, you know me, I'm a Virgo. I'm like, fuck all y'all, you know, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't talk to my aunt and, you know, her whole camp. I didn't speak to anybody for like the next three years. Okay. So that was like from February, 2017. I didn't get back in contact. I didn't really talk to them until September of 2020. Okay. All right. So it had been like a whole, so that whole time that I, that I, that I wasn't talking to my auntie or wasn't going around their house and, you know, hanging out with my cousins, I stopped. Okay. And during that time period, me and Nelsie started hanging out. Okay. So she provide so she provided like a like a little friendship like you know she was like a social buffer cuz I used to go out by myself after the fact cuz I used to just go out with my relatives but when I wasn't talking to them at the time you know or whatever um I still had you know Nelsie on my on my social media and she would be the one to kind of get me out of the house cuz I was I didn't really go out and really fuck with nobody like that. You know, I was only just hanging out with my cousins. So I didn't really fuck with a lot of people. So, anyway. So anyhow, um so when I got so during that time period when I wasn't dealing I was so angry with them, you know, I wasn't dealing with my my uh auntie or my cousin or whatever and I didn't come around for like like I said for like 3 years. We didn't talk for 3 years. Right? So during that time, yeah, during that time, okay, um, that was 2017. Okay, so then March, we, we would meet up, me and Nelson used to meet up at, at the club. At the time, I wasn't driving. I didn't start driving until, until I got my car in March of 2018. So when I got my car in March, she used to inbox me all the time. She used to always inbox me flyers because she, she was a, somebody that was, like, really into the the whole um, Caribbean scene in LA, the whole Belizean Jamaican scene in LA, that was her life. That was everything. She always promoted everybody's parties. She loved the nightlife. That was her thing. She absolutely loved it. She was passionate about it. She knew all the DJs. She knew promoters. She knew everybody. I didn't know not one soul in that scene that did not like this girl. She knew everybody. She was a Gemini, a high vibrational Gemini. Okay. So this bitch knew everybody. Knew Every fucking body. So we used to meet up, you know, around 2017 because we both didn't drive. So we would just meet up at places and, you know, I just had on social media. So anyway, spring. So spring of 2018, March, right? I get my, my first little car, my little my little bucket, my little Toyota Camry. I got a 97 Camry. Yeah. And so, you know, I inbox, she inboxed me and whatever. I'm like, yeah, I just got my car. So, you know, this bitch ain't waste no time. She's like... Girl, let's go out. Let's go here. And, you know, woo, 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 woo. I said, okay, girl. All right, fine. You know, I'm not really fucking with nobody. And I'm like, okay. She seemed like a cool person. And the only reason why I started fucking with her was just off the strength of that night. Like I saw her for, um, I saw her, her genuine energy for who she was. She made sure I got out of the club unharmed. Cause I didn't see my auntie. I didn't see nobody. Everybody was running out. And she made sure that I made it out. And she was, she just always left a good impression on me since then. So I was like, you know what? She seemed like a cool person, like an easygoing person. She didn't seem like a catty person, like a bitch. Like she, uh, she didn't seem like a negative person at all. Every time I saw her, she always had a big smile on her face. Always say hi. She was cool. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I could just hang out with her. Like I still wanted to go out, but I just didn't want to fuck with my cousins at the time. I wasn't fucking talking to her. So, I was like, okay, well, I could just hang out with, with her, with Nelsie then, you know what I'm saying? And Nelsie know everybody. So, you know, we always will generally have a good time. I never had no problems, never had no arguments or fights when me and her went out because she knew everybody and everybody liked her. So I never had no problem. As long as I was with her, she was cool. Right. Besides me going out by myself, you know, and when I used to go out by myself, and I would see her, I would feel so relieved because in the club, you know, I like the people watching everything. I'm in the club, like, you know, people's 
you know, the energy could be kind of dense, kind of tense sometimes or whatever. And, you know, I have a social anxiety. So whenever I used to see Nelsie, I would feel relieved, like, oh my God, she's here. Cool. You know, I could talk to her and stuff. At least I know somebody in here, you know? So anyway, me and her started going out over the next two years. So from like 2018, (laughs) basically all the way to when the pandemic kind of started, right? I probably, probably the last time me and her went out together, shit, probably had to be in January or February or something of 2020. It had to be around that time, you know, and then everything just changed. Of course, the whole world changed, but yeah, we were going out, you know, 2018, 2019, we started going out. And um, she came at a time in my life where, you know, like I said, she got me out of my shell. She got me out of the house. She had me going out. And honestly, um, I mean, you know, if it wasn't for her, like I probably wouldn't have met my my twin flame because I met him while we was going out, you know. And that was around my birthday. Remember, I started me and her started hanging out spring of 2018 me and her going, she used to inbox me all kind of flyers and shit, you know? So if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have met him. You know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't have met him. Um, she was there that night, me, her, and my sister. She was there, um, hanging out with me. So anyway, um, so we went to all kind of places together. She, we went to the studio on 35th, fifth and western we went to bashman zone which was around that same area she lived on the other side of la like close to mid city i lived in south central so you know um we would always i would always go to her side of the town because there were more clubs more places to go on her side of town and i used to go and pick her up and shit like that we used to go to the botanica together she the one that that told me about that place I haven't been there since but I mean I haven't been there too much since but she the one that put me on to um this place called El Palacio and that was one of her um places that she'd go because it was close to her house and me and her just got real cool like she provided a uh, like a I'm not really big on friends I'm not like a friends kind of bitch or anything like you know like So she kind of provided like a, like a friendship, you know, she's like my club friend, my club homie and stuff. And we had a lot of fun together. You know, we really had a lot of fun together, bitch. We used to just fucking park a lot of pimp. (laughs) We used to park a lot of pimp. We would inbox each other, text each other. Um, you come in your only way, you know, whatever, whatever. And we, when we would get together and go out, we would like park a lot, pimp. Um, we would park right at the club before everybody else. And we would just sit in the car and drink and talk and tell stories. And I was telling her all the stuff that I was going through with my relatives. And she was like, I know, girl, but you know, they're your family and that's how it is. And, you know, I hope that you guys will be cool one day. And I used to be like, nah, fuck that. You no, know, <laughs> whatever, whatever, you know, at the time, you know. And, you know, I'm just like, I just have all these memories. Like, she was just so cool. She provided, like, she got me out the fucking house. Like, you know, and, and the, she was like a little piece of the social life that, that I that I did have at the time. Because I was like, I ain't fucking with nobody. I ain't fucking with my family, you know. And she just always gave me good energy. Every time I saw her, you know, in passing and stuff, she was always had a good energy. Like, she, I've, I've never seen her, like, be, like, fake or give me a weird look or nothing like that. You know, like, she... Every time I'm, I seen her, she always gave me a tight hug. She's always just cool, cheerful, always happy. <laughs> she knew every fucking party, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Like, she was, I could barely keep up with her. She's older than me. Like, I always have older friends, okay? Nelsie, I don't know how old she was um, right now, but uh, let me see. Was hanging out with her she said she was 46 47 see i have all older friends all my you know anyway, when i do hang out with associates and stuff like that friends whatever they're always older i'm more comfortable around older people so that's why me and her we we got along good we clicked but she was more of a party party person than i was and I used to be like, damn, this girl love party. I said, damn, every night, I said, this girl at every fucking event, da, da, da. And I was, I was, I remember asking her that one time, 
and she was like, I know I probably annoy you because I'll always give you flyers because I used to have to flake out on her sometimes, girl, because she, you know, she she really be going out and telling you like she love going out. <laughs> and I and me like I'm like a little old lady and she's like she more youthful than I, than I fucking was, you know. Girl, I couldn't keep up with her. She could stay up, boy. I'm just a girl. I used to be tired, but anyway, <laughs> she um used to always send me a bunch of flyers. So I remember uh, I used to be like, "Yeah, it's like you really into a girl, whatever." And she was like, "Well, you know, the reason why is because you know." And she's like, "I know I probably annoy you by give you know sending you a lot of inboxes about partying and stuff like that or whatever. I'm sorry. But, you know, she was like, I really liked the, the scene. Like, she was like, this is my only social life. She broke it. When she broke it down to me, I understood. But, you know, she was just like, this is my, you know, she was basically saying that, like, she got grand grandkids and she helps her daughter. She only has one daughter. I, you know, my heart goes out to her daughter and her three grandsons. I feel so so terrible um for them because all all she had was just her and her daughter you know so it's like damn that poor girl um but she was like I'm always at home with my grand with my grandbabies I'm always at home babysitting like I take care of my 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 grandbabies full time I don't work like I take care of them full time or whatever and you know me uh, when my daughter comes home at night that's my time for myself. So me going out is important to me because I, at first, you know, sometimes I couldn't go with, sometimes I couldn't go out that night and she would kind of like be a little upset or irritated. And I used to be like, girl, chill. But when she broke it down to me, she told me like, this is my only social life. This is my only time that I have for myself. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm always at home with my grandkids all day, every day. I don't work. I'm at home all day, every day with the kids. So this is my time to go out and have fun. And that's why going out is very important to me. So when she told me that, I was like, oh, okay, cool. All right. Well, that makes sense. And I understand. I understand you now, you know? Um. <clears throat> So, yeah, so she, you know, she was like a really awesome person, just harmless, wouldn't, wouldn't hurt a fly, um, you know, and like I said, you know, sometimes, you know, spirit will put people in your life for certain, for certain reasons. I think, I think looking back on it, because I said I'm not a I'm not a friend's person, so I think looking back on it, you know, spirit wanted me to have somebody I could talk to, um, somebody that's like a friend, somebody I could speak with, so I can go out with and get more comfortable with going out with my social anxiety and stuff. And we had a good time. We went to a lot of cool parties together. We took pictures. Um, the first night, there's a place called a gallery. It's the after hours, like that's like my probably like my favorite after hours club out of all of them and you know she um it was her nephew's spot her nephew and her homeboy spot and we went there me her and my sister we went there the same night my sister know Nelsie too me and her went there the same night uh the their first night and we got free drinks free entry it was cool. It was, it was a vibe. It was always a vibe uh, hanging out with her. I'm sure we got on each other's nerves. You know, we used to get drunk and get on each other's nerves. But then we'd be like, bitch, we finna do it again. And so, I, you know, I'm going to miss her terribly. I'm going to miss her a whole lot. She was definitely a huge supporter uh, of the Caribbean scene. I, I'm pretty sure if you live in L.A. or you go out clubbing to a Caribbean club in L.A., you've definitely seen her before. That bitch be at every motherfucking party. She always promoted. She was a fixture in the scene. Like she always, she knew everybody. She always promoted people's parties. You know, um, she knew all the DJs, all the promoters. She was a fixture in the scene. She took the scene very seriously. Like that was her life and everything. And she was always about having a good time and enjoying herself and everything so she gave, she provided a lot of fun experiences for me at the time. And that's why I like fucking with older. I like hanging out with older people more than hanging out with younger people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I told her. I said, like, I have, I have people thirties, forties, fifties, you know, and I was young 
back in the day, a teenager or in my twenties and all my friends was like thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, you know what I'm saying? So I'm used to being around older people. I like, you know what I mean? Like it's just less drama. When I went out with her, I never had no problems. Never had to get in a fight with nobody. None of that shit. Even if I didn't really care for her friend or her crowd or whatever, you know, she would always introduce me to people and everybody like for the 2018, 2019, I was always next to her. If if I wasn't going out by myself, um, so yeah, but yeah, she she really loved the scene. She was just a really cool person. I'm I'm definitely gonna um, miss her. Um, I can't get into my other account just yet, but I know I I think she did hit me up a few months ago, like October, September, summer. She hit me up on on my personal Instagram page like uh, I think she commented on one of my pictures like hey lady or whatever I really really wish I would have I didn't realize how grave her condition I thought she was maintaining I did notice that she lost weight and stuff but I thought she was doing good you know I really wish that I would have um checked on her a little bit more I I wish that I would have um you know, because I remember last last year, 2021, um, last last year, uh, after going through all that stuff, I told her about what had happened and how she knew the same people. So I, I told her I didn't want to go out like that no more, you know. But, um, and she understood coming. I think I, yeah, I think I remember did talking to her after all that stuff happened when I, um, got into that fight and stuff. She, she, I think she had heard about it cause she knew the peeps, some of the people she knew of, of the people, whatever. Um, but, um, yeah, man, Nelsie, man, may you rest in peace. She was, um, she was Honduran. She was cool as fuck. She, she's originally from uh, Brooklyn, New York. Um, me and her, and sometimes my sister would go out or sometimes it'd just be me and her. Most of the time it's just me and her. Sometimes she'll bring her other friend to Latvia or she'll bring other friends to come with us. And we always ended up generally having a good time. It was just always a vibe, you know, and I have a lot of good memories of music and, and, um, and things about her. Um, like I said, you know, like, Spirit will, I think Spirit wanted me to have a friend at that time, those past two years, you know, um, because I kept myself closed off a lot. You know, I don't really fuck with a lot of people. And I thought at the time, you know, hanging out with family, with relatives, that I would be cool. I would be better off and stuff or whatever. So when I was estranged from my family, I wasn't talking to them at the time. You know, she provided a friendship for me and I will cherish that forever. You know, she gave me a lot of fun experiences that I wouldn't have had otherwise because I chose to open up myself to her because she showed me genuine love. So I showed her genuine love. And so I don't really come across good people like that. So sucks. But I am glad that she is not suffering. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather her, you know, and, and like I said, she lost her, her parents and her older brother. So she was going through it. So I like to say that she died of a broken heart because her, 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 it, you know, her, I think her parents passed away during the pandemic, both of them. And so it took a toll on her family and I'm sure it took a toll on her health. Cause it seemed like when she lost her parents, that's what really fucked her up. I believe that's when her health really took a toll. When we was hanging out, she, um, when me and her was going out, she told me about how she, how she had like a a heart problem and she had to get a pacemaker. And I remember her telling me that when we was parking lot pimp, we were talking and she was like, yeah, I have to give up drinking because she loved her some fucking vodka, bitch. We used to drink vodka and stuff. She loved her vodka and orange juice. <laughs> oh, my God. We used to be faded in that fucking car, girl. Just telling stories, forgetting, laughing, talking shit, annoying each other. Let's go in the club now. You know, her ass, she loved the fucking scene, girl. Anyway, 
she told me about the pace, how she was going to have to get surgery and stuff and whatever. And I remember me and her talking and uh, her inboxing me the, cause the first time she went to do the surgery. Uh, she she uh, sent me a picture of her San, uh, San Lazaro, St. Lazarus uh, uh, statue. And she said, girl, I have my statue right here in the hospital. I said, I'm so happy that you're out of the hospital. So happy you're doing well. I remember praying for her. And if I recall, I remember uh, burning a candle for her too, like just praying for her and making sure she make it out and stuff like that. And she made it out and her, her surgery was a success. So I can't imagine what went wrong, but I think it was definitely stress related and grief related. I think she was really grieving her, her parents and it was really hard for her. And I think just other complications may have came up, but you know, the surgery was a success and she was cool. Like she was still going out, but she had to stop drinking, um, a vodka or whatever. And then she just started drinking wine and all of a sudden she stopped. And I think the last, the very, very last time I saw her, what had to been 20, it was 2021. It was right before I had fell out with that same cousin again, bitch. I swear to God, every couple of years, bitch, same old shit. Anyway, um, last time I saw Nelsie was at the Chateau. And I forgot what event it was, but it had to been September of 2021 because it was still Virgo season I believe, and me and my cousin at the same time, we, our birthdays are like a few days apart. We both Virgos. So we were going out quite a lot around that time. We were going out a lot. So that was the last time I saw Nelsie. Yeah. She was at the Chateau and I came and I gave her a big hug and I was like, Hey girl, I was just, ha- that's the only person I'm smiling with in the club. You know, other than that, I got a rest and bitch face. Like I don't fuck, fuck with everybody, you know? But when I saw her, I was like, Oh, there she go. I think that was the last time I physically saw her. Mm-hmm. And I hugged her and stuff like that. I was like, how you been, girl? Da, 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 you know, that was the last fucking time. That had to be the last time. Yeah, I think it was September of 2021. It had to have been. It was, it was, it had to have been. Yeah. So. Anyways, like. It's crazy how, you know, spirit will put certain people in your life and they'll lead you to places where you meet other people. Because I swear to God, if it wasn't for her, like, you know, always bugging me to go out and stuff like that, I would have never met my TF, you know. And then all the fun experiences that I had, you know, um, with her. Um, All the talks we had, Uh, even meeting her grandson because her, you know, um, her grandson was um, also autistic, just like my daughter is. And I remember she introduced me to her her daughter and me and her daughter started talking because there was times where I would come in the house, um, come to her house, you know, after the club and she would give me food because her daughter is a chef. Her daughter cooks. And um I remember meeting her grand, her, her, um, her grandkids and stuff and talking to her daughter and giving her encouragement and information and, you know, how I found out, you know, or whatever. We both talked about our stuff and stuff and yeah, you know, and like I said, you know, me and her would go to, you know, go on little missions together. She, um, put me onto the botanica, me and her, she loved, um, St. Barbara. That was, that was the saint that she worked with. She worked with St. Barbara or whatever. I liked it. Archangel Michael, St. Michael. She liked it. St. Barbara. She loved her some St. Barbara. And I remember coming to her home and she would show me after we would come from the club and stuff. She said, come inside for a little bit. And she showed me her altar and stuff. She said, yep, I love St. Barbara. And she had all her little St. Barbara candles and her statue and everything. She loved St. Barbara, honey. Love, love, love her. Love her some St. Barbara. And, uh, yeah, yo, I'm going, man, I'm going to miss her energy. You know, you don't meet people like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they don't make them like her no more. They really fucking don't. They really don't. You know, I really wish I took the time to really, like, 
check on her and I should have went to go visit. I don't know why I let all this time go by. I guess sometimes you just get caught up in your own life, you know, your own day to day and stuff. And I was seeing her pictures and something my spirit was telling me like, damn, you know, she's starting to, you know, damn, this poor girl she's starting to look bad, you know, like she lost a lot of weight and everything. And dang, I can't imagine what, what eventually took her out. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. They just don't make them like her no more. And I really feel like spirit definitely put her in my life for a specific reason. Like, I want you to have a friend. I want you to have somebody to talk to and somebody to hang out with and, you know, and she provided that for me when I stopped talking to my cousin and my aunts and all that stuff at the time. And she used to all, me, me and her used to talk about it all the time. We both talked about how our families hurt us, you know. So she was somebody I confided in at the time when I wasn't speaking to certain people. And she would tell me, yeah, that's how I am with my, my family, too. Like, they treat me like this, they do me like that, you know. So, you know, we related a lot you know, about things. So, you know, I, I just want to thank you, Nelsie. I love you, girl. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I had, I had so much fun. She was the one taking pictures of me <laughs> at the club, taking pictures. Even if we didn't have the best time, she would still be like, I had a good time tonight. I had a good time tonight. You know, she always made the best of everything. Even if even if we had a boring ass time, she was just happy to just fucking get out the fucking house. You know what I'm saying? She's happy to get out the house. So, you know, my heart goes out to her daughter. I can't imagine how she feels like I really need to reach out to her. And you know what's funny is like just yesterday I was at my aunt's house and my aunt was telling me her friend, the same one. She was telling me how I had thought that she had already died. Some there was some bad rumor that she had died, and she my co- my aunt told me that how her daughter came on Facebook and she was pissed, like how dare you? And I'm kind of pissed for her too because it's like they put that in the air, and I feel like when they did that, they did they she ended up dying two days later. When my aunt told me that, I thought that she had passed already. This was two days ago. Excuse me, I thought that she passed already. And I was like, what? So when they go see my aunt yesterday, we were talking, we were just talking about Nelsie yesterday, just talking about her. And she showed me the video of her daughter, Elsie, and how Elsie was like, you know, whoever came up with that rumor is irresponsible. Please respect my family. My, my, my mom is doing fine. She's doing good, whatever. And I sent her an inbox because my aunt said, um, well, you know, right now she's not talking to anybody right now because everybody knows he and this is not. And I said, I hate for that person to put that out in the air and say that she died when she didn't die yet. You know, I feel like they that they put they not they like egged it on and shit. You know, that shit was stupid, irresponsible, disgust. I didn't like that. And it kind of like. I don't know, it just kind of made us think like, damn, you know. And that's when I realized the severity of her sickness. And so I told my aunt, I was like, yeah, because, you know, I was hanging out with her at the time we weren't talking. And, yeah, she had a pacemaker. She said, I didn't even know she was sick. I'm like, yeah, she was, you know, or whatever. But I thought that she was doing good, you know. Um, so and then I ended up hearing her favorite song last night, 38, 11 on the clock. I ended up hearing her favorite song while we were talking about it. It was like we were already feeling it, like, you know, she let me know, like, you know. And when that song came on, I thought to myself, like, oh, my gosh, that's her favorite song. It's a song by Garnett Silk. And she loved to hear that song, you know what I mean? Um, So I inboxed her on... Instagram and I said, uh, let me inbox her. I hope that she'll be able to see my message or hear my message or whatever. Cause I can't get on my personal account on Instagram. And so I, I went on her inbox and I just said, how you been? I hope you're feeling okay. I didn't, I wanted to hit her up when I heard that the girl, you know, that the girl, that her daughter was pissed off about somebody saying that she died. And then, you know, and I found out she didn't die. This was just two days ago. I wanted to hit her up. 
I said, let me not do that. I don't want to come off as nosy. I haven't spoke to her in so long and I don't want to come off nosy. I was like, let me just inbox her on Instagram. So I inboxed her on Instagram and was just like, I, you know, I miss you. How you been? I hope all is well and stuff, whatever. And, you know, and of course, you know, it's interesting because me and my, my auntie was just talking about her. So that was just earlier yesterday in the evening. My aunt um, called me crying and told me. And when my aunt called me, when she called me, she called me around 845. And when I looked at the phone, I let it ring for a little bit. And I felt a lot of anxiety on the other line. But I said, let me just answer it. And as soon as I answered, I heard her cry. She said, oh, no, she died. And I said, oh, no. Oh, no. No. Yeah, man. Mm -mm -mm. Life is short. The flesh is weak. All I can honestly think about is us hanging out. So I definitely enjoyed her energy. I enjoyed her experience, you know. Thank you so much, Nelsie, for, for being, uh, if I ever considered anyone a friend, thank you for being a good friend. Thank you for, uh, thank you for allowing me to vent and vice versa. Thank you for all the fun times uh, that, that we spent together. You know, I'm very, very thankful. Um, you are a beautiful person, uh, a true high vibrational Gemini, you know what I'm saying? Like just always a loving person, didn't hold no grudge. I mean, I'm a fucking bitch. I know what I am, you know what I'm saying? But she was like, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Like she was harmless. She didn't hold no grudge. She loved everybody. I don't know, not one person in the scene that did not like her, you know? And she she um, showed me how to have fun. You know, that's how Geminis are. They they know a lot of people. They know people from all walks of life. They they're people persons, you know what I'm saying? And me, I'm I'm a I'm a Virgo. You know, she's my Mercurial cousin. We both ruled by Mercury, right? A Gemini, they cross pollinate, just like my, my Oracle car. They cross pollinate. They they know people, they talk to people, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, so she kind of showed me how to have fun, how to get out of my shell, how to, you know, be spontaneous and how to be more, more talkative and, and things. Oh my God, really? Firecrackers? Anyways, you know, she showed me how to have a lot of fun. And so I definitely appreciate the the time that we spent together. I will, I'll always hold it in my heart, cherish it in my heart. And, you know, like I said, you know, spirit definitely um, had her in my life during those times where I wasn't fucking with nobody for her to be somebody that I could talk to. I really didn't need people to talk to. I didn't I didn't I really I didn't realize she's kind of like that person that you didn't realize that you needed. Um, so, you know, I definitely do appreciate, you know, everything. She was a true experience, you know, a beautiful person. I'll never forget that night in the club where, where they was shooting and and she made sure that I got out, you know? So I love you, girl. Who, I am not a funeral person. I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope that the community raises money for her and everything. I, I really do hope so because she is a, huge fixture in the scene she knew people people loved her she did a lot for everybody in the scene she promoted for everybody she was just an all-around cool person so I hope that you know um everything is set where she can just you know I'm, I'm not really a funeral person I want to remember her exactly like how I remember her. I don't want to see her in no box hell no I want to remember her exactly like how I remember her. So now she is at the eternal after hours. She's at the club turning up. Girl, I love you, Nelsie. Thank you so much, girl, for everything. And um, you touched my life, girl. And 
I will see you in the astral realm. In the in the in the astral realm and after hours, we we finna turn up, bitch. I know you're gonna have your little vodka and your motherfucking orange juice, bitch. So I will see you in my dreams. I will see you out there in the astral scene. Welcome to ancestorhood. You know, I love you so much. Thank you for being a good friend. Thank you for giving me all the fun experiences and and I will always appreciate you and uh, yeah and that's just pretty much uh, that on that so I want to thank you guys for you know hearing me out and and uh, listening to me um, about my uh, my friend Nelsie may you rest in peace Nelsie Garcia my catracha my grifana sister <laughs> I love you so much Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you for the beautiful energy. Rest in peace.